वेलकम टू पैंटकी लैंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग आवर वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो कैंडली क्लिक ऑन द लाइक बटन एंड शेयर द वीडियो टू योर फ्रेंड्स डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल फॉर लूप सो इन साइड दिस द फॉर लूप हैज अ डिफरेंस इन टैक्स वाइल कंपेयर टू द अदर प्रोग्राम्स देयर वी विल बी हैविंग ऑन सॉर्ट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन लाइक फॉर इनिशियलाइजेशन कंडीशन इंक्रीमेंट और डिक्रीमेंट so this is the default statement that has been provided for all the sections but in this case the syntax is here we will be declaring as well as uh, assigning the condition in direct itself so this is the complete change while compared to the previous uh, codings and this particular coding inside the matlab because this particular contains uh, all multiple size of coding and now i am going to provide for the for loop for declaring directly 1 is to 5 so this 1 is to 5 it is nothing but 1 is known as the starting point and 5 uh, is known as the ending point so now for the iteration purpose i am just providing a equal to a plus 1 now i am ending this particular loop okay so from that initial value till the 10 it has been calculated and therefore finally it has been displayed what is the last value so therefore this is known as the for loop structure inside the matlab now let us move on towards the while loop Yeah. So for while loop, uh, the same kind of syntax only. There is no change of syntax inside the while loop. So while we have to provide the variable and we have to provide the satisfied condition over there. Based on the calculation, it will be provided inside the loop. So how to run means while. So now the final value of the a will be displayed. Okay. So finally, till that particular iteration, everything will be displayed. Now if you want to get the continuous data over there. Okay, so this is nothing but the continuous data from six to fifteen. So if we want to get the same data, sorry. So this is nothing but the continuous data over here. If we provide it as one, okay. So this is known as the while loop statement inside the MATLAB. So how to load a image inside that uh, particular GUI means again we have to create a GUI function. So first I am providing the button and also I am taking the access. so both of them are ready now now let us edit the property and i am taking on load okay and therefore this is the push button 2 as the tag now let us just uh, execute it so here i am going to provide the data like im read 1.jpg so i have given that both displays over here now i have to set that particular access and we'll start access 1 comma b okay So now, therefore, it will be able to load that complete data over here. Yeah, this is uh, nothing but due to my MATLAB problems only. So that's why it is uh, displaying that complete error. So this is known as that complete sections where we have applied this complete function over there. And finally, it has been displayed that particular image exactly within this complete uh, access whatever we have shown. Or we can also create this method. Okay, so. both the ways it will be able to just uh, display that particular section inside the gui so this is known as loading the image into the gui using button as well as access handles just type pm show dot a and below that provide the access handle loaded okay so now let us move for our another state known as filters so filters are nothing but to smoothen the image or to apply some of the changes for example If you are taking any of the image and if you are facing any of the issues with your cameras or any other images like uh, noises or unwanted sections, so this kind of functions can be easily called as the unwanted parts or the noise of the image. So to remove that part of uh, sections, we can use the format known as filters. So inside the image, we have many kinds of filters like removing or compressing the complete data. or taking only the outline of a particular image which is known as edge reduction and uh, the median filter which you might have heard uh, most of the digital signal processing part that particular filter it is used to remove the salt and pepper noise and at the same time we can also create some of the noises for our testing purpose inside the images so this and all particularly known as the filter section which takes in the form of matrix value and with some of the uh, iteration purpose as well as this function uh, defaultly provided inside the computer vision toolbox we will be able to access those filters as well as generate some noises okay 
So here we have two sites. One is for generating the noises. And to remove the noise also, we can use this filters over there. And by using this filters, some of the sections uh, like uh, color conversion and uh, removing that particular unwanted part or combining two images and uh, detecting some parts of uh, segmentation, everything can be applied. Okay. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.